I knew it. I, you know, when you're out there and you're skating, you can just feel it. You know, you get in the zone. There's a zone. There's a zone in ice skating also. And yeah, I could just yeah. feel it. And and you know, there was so many times in my life that I felt that. You're starring in a new series called Breaking the Ice, which premieres on WE TV on July 6th at 9 p.m. Eastern. So what can fans expect from this series? A great show about 10 girls and their trials and tribulations and their journeys as the first competitive all diverse figure skating team, synchronized figure skating team. I'm looking forward to um, watching these episodes. And it's funny, on Instagram, I noticed what you said that this show took eight years in the making. So um, what made you want to do this series? Well, I wanted to show the world the back, the, the back scenes or, you know, the background of figure skating. Yeah. And what you don't get to see on TV, you just see the finished product. So I wanted to kind of, you know, teach the world the process. And you're the coach of Team DMV, which is made up of middle and high school girls. Um, How has it been working with them and helping them become great skaters? It was great. It's been nice to to be able to teach them how to be champions. Because going yeah. into this with, with this group of girls, you know, they weren't used to winning. They weren't used, they were expected last every time they stepped on the ice, you know. So to teach them and to work with them to to be able to get on the ice and, and to expect to win, you know, and has been incredible. And when you stopped competing, did you know that you're going to be a coach? Was coaching something you always wanted to do? Uh, yes, coaching was something that I always wanted to do. And, and actually, I, I coached through my competitive professional years. Mm -hmm. And that made me a better coach and it made me a better skater, you know, it made me more relatable. And so right now, still to every day, I love to coach because I can relate. Absolutely. And and as I mentioned, it looks like it's going to be a very fun series. But ultimately, what do you want fans to take away from the show while watching it? Breaking the Ice is a show about breaking barriers. And these girls break barriers every day. And so with inspiration and they have goals and dreams that there's there's no barrier that you can't break to move forward with your with your dreams. You know, along with what you're doing uh, with Breaking the Ice, you're known for what you did um, on the ice skating rink in 1994. You became the first African-American woman to win the U.S. Open Professional Figure Skating Championship. When you were competing during that event, did you have a feeling that you won? Were you confident uh, that you put on a great performance? Mm -hmm. At that event, I did. I knew it. I, you know, when you're out there and you're skating, you can just feel it. You know, you get in the zone. There's a zone. There's a zone in ice skating also, and yeah, I could just yeah. feel it. And and you know, there was so many times in my life that I felt that, and at the end, you don't get rewarded. So that day at the U.S. Open, when you if you see me, it's all I wanted to hear was ten. You know, I just yeah. wanted to feel that, okay, that feeling that that I had inside, everybody else had outside. And you're also known for doing a backflip. I think it was the 1992 US Open uh, where you did that. Uh, how long did it take for you to master that move? Because obviously it's not easy thing to do. No, it's not. And a funny story is it, it literally took me uh, two months mm -hmm. of going to the rink every day, you know, or and training and preparing. And just preparing, you know, and really like just, and then one day I just did it, mm. you know, I just, you know, I just had to work up the courage to, yeah, to flip, you know, and it did take me about two months to do that. And it was like, just do it. And when I did it, I thought that was the easiest thing ever. <laughs> and it was fun. So I never wanted to stop doing it. <laughs> oh, why not? Yeah, absolutely. But, um, you know, obviously you put together a great skating career, but looking back, what would you say would be your greatest accomplishment? You know what? My greatest accomplishment was not a win. Like, yeah, my greatest accomplishment was um, taking advice. Taking advice was my greatest accomplishment because when I wanted to quit skating and I mm. met Mabel Fairbanks and she told me, Rory, if you quit, they win. Yeah. That's advice. And you got to decide, you know, what do you take of that? You know, you could take that and 
two different ways, quit or keep pushing, you know? So yeah. that was my biggest win of my life. Yeah. It's interesting that you mentioned that because I wanted to ask you this, uh, you know, what advice do you have for black skaters who are looking to do big things in the sport? You got to keep on pushing yeah. when times get rough. That's my biggest advice. You got to keep on pushing. And, and you know what? You never know how much you have inside you. Somebody else might be able to show you and help you. And so, so listen to the advice. Absolutely. And one last question for me before I let you go. Um, you've done so much great work in the African-American community when it comes to ice skating and promoting ice skating. But do you see more people of color participating in the sport in the next decade and 15 years? Yes. Mm -hmm. And I really, I, I, I do. I do see more people. And I really hope this, this show you yeah. know, um, inspires, inspires because, you know, we're not, we are not the first, we are the, we are the competitive and, yeah. and that's a whole mindset too, you know? So I think the, 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 the more of us that, that are out there and start coaching and start bringing it, you know, mm -hmm. pulling it, paying it forward. Um, then yeah, I do see an influx. I do, see, I do see that too. Well, Rory, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it. Again, congratulations on breaking the ice and continued success to you.